It's gotta be Kendall. The hip hop beat. It's Craig. Oh, Kendall's in here too. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm Tim Kulu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Succession Episode 3. I really enjoyed the first two episodes. Uh, it's a war. A legit civil war within the company, within the family. And Kendall almost recruited a whole squad of siblings. But nah, last minute they all turned on him. So he's riding this shit solo. But he's got one hell of a team I'm talking about. The lawyer. His publicist. And the way he be talking hip hop slang be killing me sometimes. But I want to see how this episode going to go down, y'all. It's a war. It's a war for the company. Just dive right in. He's spinning things on his favor. Who is he talking to? Is this an interviewer? Oh, that was off the record. You even concerned about the salad? Oh, he's in this alone. Oh, the theme. Doom. Doom. Succession. <laughs> These two, they've been on fire the past two episodes. Cherry's the leader, look at her. So the interview already went out, they talk about head spaces. Oh yeah, the interview's out. <laughs> you having a whole meeting about what he means. Punch him in the nose. It's a full-blown war. We get it. Dance. Jerry's taking that job seriously. Logan is getting pissed off because of it. We don't accept, sir. You keep saying fuck him. Logan. Greg is still in the company? Sign uh, the Bills. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a shitty office. Hang out with Kendall. Goddamn. They punishing Greg now? Why does Greg still believe in Tom? No, he's played him so many times. But he does treat him normally, unlike everybody else. I try to come. This can't be a new office, fam. Your dad is a memory. Shiv or somebody like Shiv. They need a woman in front of this scandal. Looks like they don't want to take like a public stance against against Kendall yet. It's gotta be Kendall. The hip hop beat. It's Craig. Oh, Kendall's in here too. Good tweet, bad tweet. Oh, it's an ego thing. This is good tweets and bad tweet. He's taking both sides. Who are the ladies? Someone's gonna read a really bad one. I knew she was gonna read a bad one. Craig is really enjoying himself with Kendall. The budget for this show must be crazy. Oh, the sister. Great to see you. Oh, his back. The side nigga. <laughs> Didn't his life blow up last season? After her wedding situation? So awkward. You wait a week? She actually giving him good advice? He's apologizing? Is she being truthful right now? Oh, he doesn't believe her. Oh, he sees his old self in her. So he's doing a business meeting, then family stuff at the end. <laughs> what is he gonna answer then? He just said fly fishing in Montana, then walked away. What an interview. They're still dealing with a divorce? She seems like he's confident, but he's also holding her at arm's range. Like it's an optic thing, since it's a whole woman scandal. Being closer to you. Daughter what is it exactly <laughs> seems strategic. I think like every episode he asks his kids, do you trust me? Hullabaloo. Salty moves? You can't just change your story. He's really underplaying this. Where's the government coming in to f shake shit up? Ooh. Candles, that you? <laughs> Whenever I hear a hip hop beat. He's flirting? He's not buying it? Oh my god. I thought the watch was a gift too. Oh my god, it's about to go bad, I think. 
He's overconfident. She told me one. So she normally does dirt pieces. Is she like the social media news person in this universe? She fucking loves me. Caucasian rich brain? Does Kendall love feeling pain, man? He wants to go on? So he's not really emotionally hurt by this? Is, it a, is he an attention whore? What's happening? The apartment is awesome. A penthouse, whatever rich people call these things. <laughs> I think he may come in. Oh yeah, Tom was one of the people who was in charge of the crew situation. He has to check his back. So he's going to jail. You are about to lose your job. You are about to... <laughs> is he about to take a plea deal? He wants to be the front man for this investigation? Like he almost threw Kendall under the bus? At least Shiv is covering his ass though. What? Yeah, okay, she's right. not. I, I thought mean, she got your back, but she's willing to well, throw you under the bus, fam. This, yeah, this way, marriage. Um, I knew he was going in. He's actually offering himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. He's not even impressed. He actually is impressed that Tom threw him his head in the ring. Was it? What is he doing? Oh, is he telling on Kendall? He's so cavalier about it, like he's gonna get away with it. I doubt that's gonna be the case. Maybe he's keeping his fear in his chest, you know what I'm saying? Close to his chest. Because he is kind of doing damage control. Is he threatening the president? Those questions of people who work there? They're gonna ask them questions that they feel people would ask, not the questions they actually ask. Damn, Lisa doesn't want him to go in. And he wants raids and shit. He might not go in. They're making it way too traumatic. But that could be the point. God damn. He's actually coming in. Key card has expired. So many conflicting things. This is such a big deal. Oh my god. They're bringing him up in the back door? Damn, this is really causing the scene. <laughs> Tom is so awkward right now. Life goes on, you know. <laughs> You're not doing fine. You're offering yourself as prison bait. Is he locked out of the system? <laughs> Did they turn up the AC in this place? They just send a security guard in? Dale, I know you. You actually scared? So it's like a meeting for the staff members. A conference. I know business manager, stuff. <laughs> the speech is so vague. Ooh. What is Kendall doing? He sabotaged the speech? Damn, it's drowning her out. Is this one of the items that was in Kendall's grocery really list? Damn, more than one speaker? Damn, now she looks like an idiot. Is she going to Kendall? Look at how mad she is. Did she just spit in his book? Sorry. The music thing was childish. Her spitting in his book was childish. He's full blown a celebrity now. He's actually going on the show? He bought a broken watch? It's not broken, it's self wine. He doesn't even know how to use the watch. He's looking for riders now. Hey, Connor! Now, I mean. <laughs> Why aren't they signing it? Damn, they trying to expose Kendall as their siblings? Is she the only one going to sign this? Suck, suck on my dick dick. God damn. She's probably petty right now because of how he embarrassed her. Click a day clack. This is so awkward. God damn, Shiv went for the bowels. Damn, he's under pressure. Is he actually going to go on air? Yeah. Or is, I think he's just going to leave. Damn. That's some acting right there. <laughs> Probably makes it worse that it's family. Mm, the score though. Is he running away? He's in the server room. Wow. God damn. That's a fucked up word. So he's hiding. They think he... Damn. 
But a fuck up letter. Oh, the cops are here. Yeah. Oh, he's panicking. Damn. Shit hit the fan for both sides. Oh. Oh shit, are they actually throwing Tom to the wolves? Oh, Tom. Raiding the premises. <laughs> Damn. They brought a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, he's happy again. <laughs> Damn. What an emotional roller coaster of an episode. Kendall was up, he was down, he was up, he was down. Now he's up again because shit is shit is getting real for the opposition. His family essentially. Damn. Shift's letter was messed up. But he did embarrass her. She did spit in his book. <laughs> oh, what a family, what a family. Phenomenal episode. I love the show. Even though it's an hour, it feels kind of short still. How many episodes this season is eight, six? Anybody know? Please let me know in the comment section. But I love the show. They know what they're doing. As a fan, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> Greg. Greg just got like 40000 now to buy watches. Even that apartment they gave him. So he... he He's living their life. Think that Connor and Roman couldn't send that letter says something to their character. I don't know what yet, but it says something. Yo, you should never get on Shiv's side. She has the reputation as the nice one, but goddamn. She pulled the rug under his feet. Damn. Anyway, like, subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, please do. Deuces.